Hi, this is Barry J. McDonald, and over on our blog post today, we're going to talk about five social media content ideas you can use for coming up with ideas for your Facebook page, you know, Twitter pages, or whatever else you need content for. So let's kick it off with uh, the first one, predicting the future. So if you get your crystal ball out today, how would you see your niche looking in the next six months, a year from now, you know? Are people going to be running treadmills with virtual reality headsets? Um, you know, writers going to be writing in the park, sitting in kind of small pods. Um, how do you think your niche is going to look? So predict the future, whether you're right or wrong. You know, even come up with some crazy ideas to get people's attention. You know, it might never happen, but, you know, who knows? You could be right, you could be wrong, doesn't matter. But it's an interesting, fun idea. You can actually try it for your social media content. Another one then is oversights. You know, no, no one's perfect, not even you. So what's the biggest mistakes you made, you know, building your business so far? Maybe as an author, what's the biggest mistakes you've made, you know, in your first book or your second book that you can hand down to, you know, other aspiring authors or business owners to stop them making the same mistakes you did? So what oversights did you make? You know, what mistakes did you make and how could you help your list, you know, your followers or anybody else, you know, not make the same mistake as you did? You know, and I'm sure they will really appreciate you being helpful like that and stop them from making mistakes that they don't need to make. So then if you're an author then like a day in your life, you know, what's a typical day in your life like? You know, people, your readers might actually see maybe your, you know, your finished product, your finished book, um, but they don't actually know what went into the building of that book. Or even if you're a business owner, you know, and you've just launched a new product, you've just launched a new website, you know, what actually went into behind the scenes, went on before that actually, you know, became public to everybody. So, you know, pulling back the curtain and letting people see what's happened in your life is a is a fun way for people to actually get to know you. Um, see what you what all work went into creating the finished product that you've created. And um you know, it would be very helpful to them. And another content idea you can do is just look around you. You know, have you got any kind of weird uh memorabilia, you know, T shirts, you know, gifts that uh sums you up. You know, people might not actually see maybe the they might see the straight list kind of persona that you have online. But you know, by giving your um, social media followers, you know, a kind of glimpse into the quirky side you have. Maybe you know, maybe your your humorous side, or maybe the coffee mug that you know the a slogan that you know that sums you up. You know, showing things like that can actually you know make them you come across as more human and you're more more you know three dimensional character than maybe the idea maybe they have of you. So just look around you today and see is there any kind of memorabilia t-shirts or anything else maybe the, something or a picture or you know something that can show that your followers you know the different side to you and then another one then is to share an experiment you know have you tried something in the past that didn't work out uh you know even if it was a flop you know again like sharing your mistakes it could be very helpful to your followers to see that you know what you tried um maybe they might want to try it too maybe and see if they make it successful or whatever but just showing that you're, you're you know that you're a human being that you know, trying new things, you're making mistakes, but you're learning from them and, you know, you're sharing those mistakes which your followers can can be very helpful to them. So that's a blog post we spoke about over on writecom.com. Now, I highly recommend you drop by today. Uh, we've got a great report. It's going to show you 10 different ways to make money from writing. One of them involves not actually writing a single word at all and you can still make money from it so if this intrigues you i recommend you should you know drop everything come on over to writecom sorry come over to writecom.com and pick up your copy i look forward to seeing you over there bye bye